guys, Team Lan here. Welcome to part three of how to make a Minecraft intro using Blender only. Yeah, so yeah, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make text, the text in an intro, how I make my text, and uh, some of the movements you want to do for the text. So yeah, let's start. You can you can start by moving into a new layer, and then uh, hitting, and then pressing uh, five in the num in your number key, and then three or one or whatever you wanna your face your text to be facing all right so yeah now we're gonna add a text you might uh, make sure you're in automatic keyframing strict whatever thingy is off because we don't want to insert a keyframe yet now make your text face up all right here right now let's start by adding your it's no no not your just let's just put name yeah your name okay name okay now uh, you're gonna go or uh, you're gonna go to the font or uh, the text this button right here move this up a bit okay now you're gonna I'm just gonna name it name just in case we're gonna have a lot we're gonna have multiple texts in the next well not now so you know just follow me all right you're gonna go down here and click on center so it in this, so it's in the center, and you're gonna lower the off the Y offset to around 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3. So the text is so you're when you're selecting it, the center of the text is the center of the text. Yep, there you go. Now, yeah, that should be it. Now we want to put in a font. The font I would recommend a big and uh, a big font like let's say. Space Comics or Magma Wave Caps. I'm gonna go for Convoy. Bold. Here. It's a thick font. It's pretty good for intros. Don't use those uh, hand, hand fonts. They just look bad. Okay, now we're gonna go out of orthographic view. You're gonna duplicate text gonna go to the geometry increase the extrude by 0.1 so you get a 3d text then you're gonna click on the second text you're gonna increase the depth to 0 0.0 let's say 2.0.02 so, so it goes up out a bit and then you just increase this And then you know, I'm just gonna lower this again to 0 0.01 should be yeah there you go it's a good one and you I'm just gonna increase the resolution yep and this one I want gonna put in a bit as well yeah there goes the text now uh, I'm just gonna yeah that should be it for this part now we're gonna go to material add material now uh, for beginners, I you should you, you should be using diffuse, but if you want to go farther, you can go for glossy. But when you're using glossy, you gotta have to adjust the roughness, which would be sometimes kind of complicated. So yeah, basic materials. You got this. If we render it, so it's gonna look like just plain white text. We're just gonna change the color. Let's see it. It's taking too long. There we go. It's just a normal grayish text. Now we're gonna change this. I'm gonna go back to solid mode. There we go. Now we're gonna click the inner text. I'm gonna change it to a gray color. Uh, I'm gonna go to materials mode. There you go. The outer text, you can change it into any color you want. Make sure it's not white, because white does not really go good with gray. Unless you actually need it to be that. Yeah. And if you guys wanna do multiple colors for for one text, if you wanna make this one green and then 
if you want to make N green and then A is red uh, I'm gonna show you guys that I'm gonna show you how to do that you're gonna go before the you're gonna put your thingy whatever that is behind the text you want to change the color to hold control move it now hold shift and move it front then you go over here we're gonna add a new material and then you make it let's say red and then click on the sign to do that you can then put it for this one as well see voila you got that but we're not gonna do that so yeah we're not just gonna delete this out of here uh, you know what? I'm just gonna delete all You know, I select it all and assign it to this one. Then we delete this. Oh wait, no. There we go. So now we got this, and it should look like this. Don't mind uh, the grayness; it will look better once you put a sky to it. Okay, I'm just gonna increase this for now. There we go. And there's your text. Pretty good looking one. If you think there's not enough shading in it, just click it. Increase the roughness. But of course, uh, if you increase the roughness, you're gonna need a bit, a lot, we find a lot more render samples. So keep your roughness in zero. Now we'll put, we'll go to text movements. This is a hard, this is the hard part. Now we're gonna go here, click on scale. We're gonna switch from location rotation and scale to just scaling. Here you go, scaling. Now we're gonna insert a keyframe here. Go, f go one, two, three, four, five front. Into another keyframe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Into a keyframe. Go, go, go to the first keyframe. Size it to zero. Put this on. Size it to zero. So now it looks like this. Okay. Now here we're gonna increase it a slightly. Then look like this. A bit too much. Yep. Now, now you're gonna move the text. Since we made the scaling, moving it won't affect anything. Right. Make sure you turn off this. This point. So now. Ah man. Oh well. Just gonna go to text. Turn off lock rot scale. Right. Yeah, one of the reasons why I told you not to turn the recording keyframes on. Okay, now that that's ha now that we've that we've done that, we'll move to the drop, and then we'll move the keyframes to the drop. One more back. Make sure when the, tech w the the second keyframe you made is at the drop, so it looks like this. Okay, just move the text up a bit, and then here, check check the character. Here you go. Then there. You go. No text. Okay, now you can put a diff. Now you can put in some some kind of appearance. You can go here, click on rotation. Now uh, you're gonna go to this slot over here. Gonna click, change this to local. And make rotation turn turn rotation on. Go back, press I. Make sure you're selecting both texts, and then you go to the next keyframe. Oh man! All right, let's try that again. Press I. Then you move it front. So it's gonna be like this. Amend and okay. Try that again. Do this. This goes here. Something like that. Then this a bit more like 
Yeah, let's try this now. You attack the character, we're gonna go to the sec the beat change and we're gonna can make it continue the movement. We're just gonna go to five. Then we're gonna do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Insert a, a location keyframe. Make sure it's all different because it could help a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And wait, just go back. Just gonna delete this one. No, no, just keep it there. Then we'll make it kind of move here. Yep. So you're gonna look there. And again, you're gonna have to move this back. Down. Then I'm gonna change this to the rotation. Wait, I'm gonna go rotation. Change this to location again. Move it here. I this should do it. Yep, that should do it. Okay, so yeah, that was the first type of text. Now I'm just gonna move this elsewhere. I'm gonna make the second type of text. This text is separate, so you can make uh, individual action, uh, make actions for each text individually. So yeah, let's add another text. Type in N. Okay, now I'm just gonna. Uh, do stuff here. Point zero one. No, wait, no. Point one. Just gonna do that for now. Convoy bold. Right now, I'm gonna turn on magnet magnet mode. Uh, yeah, whatever it's called. Gonna move it. Move it here. I'm gonna duplicate it. To the side. Continue. There we go. Now, I'm going to put a rotation for each of them. Go rotation. I'm going to go 20 front. Right, now I'm just going to rotate 360 degrees. There you go. I'm just gonna move it this thing down. I'm gonna man I'm gonna copy this. Now control C then control V so all of them have the same movement. Now I'm just gonna lower this down. Now, 
it be like this. Yep. That's good enough. Okay, now I'm just gonna. Now I need to add is this forward. Change this to scaling. And add a keyframe. Fly front. Make sure this is individual origins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is another fancy way of doing it. But not fancy when it's there. Let's try that again. Here, make this median point, size it again. There you are. Now I'm just gonna combine these two. I'm just gonna combine the rotation with the scaling. There you go. Also a handy trick tip to show you guys. Very very handy. Gonna we're gonna do this. We'll try that again. <laughs> All right, the keyframes are combined. Now check out this trick. We're gonna move this one front move this one front move this one front now this looks a bit messed up but check it out and now we just move it to the drop make sure the m middle which is around here is in the drop so we get this you know, just make move a bit back now it would be hard if you to you know select all the texts and do stuff again so wait so we're gonna do this we're gonna duplicate it and do uh, the design first we'll do that quickly Okay, now I'm just gonna set the materials to, to green, this one to green, this one to green, this one to green. We'll worry about the middle, the middle one there. Right, now it'll be pretty hard to, you know, select all of them at once, you know. So, yeah, this is what you're gonna go. I'm gonna do cursor to center, shift A, add an empty cube. We get this cube, and you can already see where I'm going. Size it down to size of text, which is around here. Lower it, increase it again. Go to opposite view. I'm gonna 
click S and then whatever this if this is X you make it X if it's Y you make it Y right make it here then we'll size it by Y huh Y will go like, like this and then move it to size it by Y yep and then we select all the text inside P parent it to the empty on the outside and now we can do stuff Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, just gonna move this, yep, move this here, yep, Yep. Yeah, that doesn't look good, but mm, shit, we sh that's what we gotta work with. Let's try this. Oh, well, yeah, this, that's it, guys. Alright, so yeah, next episode, uh, next part, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that bouncing. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to make that. So yeah guys, uh, see you guys later.